Summary of a Temporary Matter by Jhumpa Lahiri Shukumar and Shoba, a married couple, get a letter from their electric company saying that their power will be turned off for an hour every night from 8 to 9 p.m. for five days so that a snowstorm-damaged power line can be fixed. Since their baby died during birth six months ago, the couple has become less close to each other. They now eat their meals in different rooms. These two people are still very sad about losing their child. When Shoba went into labor, Shukumar was at a meeting, so he wasn't there to support his wife when their baby was born dead. This makes Shoba sad, and it makes Shukumar feel guilty for not being there. After Shoba's loss, Shukumar thinks about how she has changed. His wife used to be very good at planning ahead and love having people over. But now she has given up on planning for the future and the couple has cut themselves off from other people. Because of the short power loss, Shukumar and Shoba have to eat dinner together or separately in the dark. The couple decides to eat together, and Shoba suggests that they start trading secrets with each other as a way to pass the time until their power comes back on. This is a game she remembers from her childhood trips to India, where the generator would often go out. In what is called an exchange of confessions, Shukumar and Shoba each talk about a small way they've lied to and let down their spouse over the course of their marriage. By telling each other these facts, Shukumar and Shoba can be honest with each other for the first time since their baby died, and their relationship seems to be getting better. When the power company sends a second warning in the morning of the last day of the blackout to let the couple know that the repairs were finished early and the blackout is over, Shukumar suggests that they eat one last meal together in the dark. After they finish eating, Shoba tells Shukumar one last secret, but she needs to do it with the lights on. Shukumar finds out that Shoba has found an apartment and plans to leave him. Shukumar understands that Shoba wasn't trying to fix their marriage by playing the game of sharing secrets. Instead, Shoba was getting Shukumar ready for this last, hard confession. Shukumar replies angrily with his own horrible secret, he tells Shoba what the baby's sex was, which she had hoped to never find out and thought Shukumar also didn't know. She didn't know it, but Shukumar got to the hospital before the baby's body could be burned, and he held their dead child in his arms. Shukumar gives Shoba a very clear picture of what happened. Shoba turns off the lights again after Shukumar tells the truth. For the things they now knew, both of them cries in the darkness as the story comes to an end. About the author Jhumpa Lahiri was born Nilanjana Sudeshna Lahiri in London on July 11, 1967, to Bengali Indian parents. Her family moved to the United States when she was two years old. She was born and raised in Kingston, Rhode Island. Lahiri got his English literature degree from Barnard College in 1989. He then went on to Boston University and got an M.A. in English, an M.F.A. in Creative Writing, an M.A. in Comparative Literature, and a Ph.D. in Renaissance Studies. Lahiri's short stories were turned down for years before Interpreter of Maladies came out in 1999. In 2000, for Interpreter of Maladies, she won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. Lahiri has also written longer works such as The Namesake, 2003, and The Lowland, 2013, in addition to her short stories. Unaccustomed Earth, her second collection of short stories, came out in 2008. A lot of her work has been published in The New Yorker. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.